At the recent Dubai Air Show, Collins Aerospace launched a new wide area touchscreen flight deck display. The MFD 4820 display is compatible with night vision goggles and remains visible in strong sunlight. It is a large area format display, 8 inches tall, 20 inches wide, uh, completely monolithic screen, uh, redundant, so uh, I have availability if I lose half of the display that I keep the other half for the pilot to be safe. It is equipped with a resistive touchscreen that will work with the flight gloves, and we provide maximum flexibility of content to display information for the pilot. So the software that we're showing here is our tactical synthetic vision. It is a separate application being driven from uh, a remote uh, processing unit, uh, driving video up to the, to the display unit itself. It can be configured to present three separate portals where each equates to a standard 6 by 8 inch display, while taking up the space typically occupied by two separate displays. The unit draws on data through standard interfaces to minimize the modifications required for retrofit installation. The resistive touchscreen technology has been received very well working with the flight gloves, um, and so that is something that we have adopted across a wide variety of display solutions. Target aircraft would include fighter trainers, helicopters, uh, tankers, as well as potential civil aviation. Wide area screens are gaining traction in the fighter world as display computer processing power has increased. The Lockheed Martin F-35 was the first to introduce this technology, and it is also being applied to the latest F-15 Eagle versions and the Saab Gripen E and F. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.